Hello, hello. I hope you guys are ready to make your owl inspired by Claire Young's work. So remember, she cuts out pieces of papers and puts them together and creates portraits of animals. So I have already created my owl. I wanted to share it with y'all. I did polka dots. I did some line types. I did straight lines. I did a pattern down here. And obviously I did rainbow around the eyes. I colored in the ears and made a triangle upside down for my nose and some rectangles for my feet. So this is how I decorated my owl. I'm going to show you how to cut out these pieces and then I want you to use your own creativity and imagination to decorate yours. You can decorate it like mine if you'd like, but you should also think about creating your own line types or patterns. It is up to you, okay? So let's get started. You can practice drawing these shapes on a whiteboard or on practice paper. I'm gonna go ahead and just do it on white paper so that way you can see it easier, but I use, um, I use gray, blue, and black, and yellow. I just showed you the back because you can't see here that it's gray. Okay, so those are the colors that I picked. Let's start with drawing the shape of the head. Okay. And you're gonna need four sheets. All right. So I'm going to start with a straight line. Okay, and then I'm gonna do two curved lines. These are going to turn into the ears. Okay. Come over with a straight line. And again, come over with a straight line. Bring it down. And connect. Okay? So then we can just put this aside. You then would cut this out. And we'll cut them all out in a few minutes. We'll get all of our shapes down that we're going to do. All right, so our four, we can start with the body now. You're just going to do a straight line, come down, and then for this side, you're going to come down and then you're going to curve out. Okay? And then come down with a straight line. And then come all the way over and connect. So now we have our body. So far, the head and the body. Okay? Next. Let's do our wing. Now, you're going to come uh, with a diagonal line, but not too diagonal. This is too much, okay? Slightly, just a little bit, okay? And I had to redo this one because it just didn't match up, so you might have to make this and see if it fits when you put your pieces together. If it doesn't, you might have to do another one where your line is even a little bit straighter, okay? So we'll see how this goes. All right. So I just did straight line, down, straight line, and then connected it to my diagonal line. And our last shape. Straight line. Come down, start to curve, and bring it up, and connect. All right, so we have our shapes now. Let's cut them out. You can pause the video, or you can watch, or I mean, fast forward it while you cut yours, or pause it, it's up to you, okay? So I'm gonna cut them out. And keep your scraps because you can use them because you're going to have to create your nose, your eyes, and your feet. So you just need two circles, a triangle, and two rectangles for the feet. That's what I did.
right, and our last shape we created. Okay. Now, how are we gonna put it together? All right, y'all ready? Pause the video if you need to and get your stuff cut if I went too fast, okay? Okay, so you're going to take your head, put it on top, get your glue, glue it down, right? And then you would put some glue, glue it down. And our last one, glue and then make sure it fits nicely. I'm pretty happy with how that one worked out. I got a little bit of space, so I would need to either bring it in or cut a new one. I'm just gonna bring this one in, okay? So, there we go. So that's how you make your owl. After you've cut out all your shapes, and that's how you put it together. You would glue it together. You then would use your scraps to draw your ovals for our eyes, right? You'd cut them out. You could also use your scraps to draw your triangle nose. Okay. Go ahead and do those for you and you would cut these out and you would place them on the face to, to have your owl and you could do your little rectangle beatsy weetsies like mine and all they are are little rectangles that I glued onto the back. The eyes, I used brown for my beak and white paper for my eyes, okay? Are y'all ready to use your own creativity and your imagination to come up with how you're going to decorate your owl. I cannot wait to see what y'all do. You guys are all so unique and creative. And again, I hope you had fun learning about Claire Young's and looking at her fantastic portraits of these animals. And I'll zoom in so you can see some of them. There's another owl. I really like the chicken. Oh, but look, oh, the raccoon's super cute, too. All right, y'all. Upload a picture. I'm very excited to see how these turn out. Bye.